morning beautiful people today we'll be discussing the basic bodies and this is majorly a summary of what we'll be drafting i've drawn it here so that as we are doing it you'll be able to picture what we're trying to do and then we have some general standards for adult female for the body of a female some general standards we have the back of the shoulder the general one is supposed to be 16 inches that's the standard but it doesn't mean that the fact that it's 16 inches for everybody will be using 16 inches you know that the body sizes and shapes of people vary but that is the standard then we have the waistline normally from the shoulder to the waistline the generally acceptable standard is 16 inches and from shoulder to the hip line the generally acceptable standard is 22 inches however we have some people that their own measurement from the weight, shoulder to the hip will be 23 it can be 24 I have not seen anybody more than 24, but of, of course we could have. Then we have people that, somebody like me, look at my stature, my own waistline from the shoulder is 15.5 or 15 most times. It's not up to 16 inches. So I'm just trying to explain to you that the fact that it is a standard does not mean that is what we must always use. For our draft this morning, we will be using this measurement. For our draft this morning, we will be using this particular measurement that you can see on the body back 15 inches, the bust 36, the waist 30, the hip 36 inches, our bust point is 10 inches, our waist point 15.5, and our hip point is 22 inches. So let's go. This is our pattern paper, and I've tried to move a bit down from the edge to achieve a very straight draft and straight line. I moved down by half inch just to draw the edge. So I'll be, I'll be using this mark as my shoulder line. And I've tried to set back a bit here so you can see this line here. You see, we find this point here. That's our center front. It's going to form the mid front of the garment like this. We are folding into two kind of when drafting. So this part, this part is our center front. This edge is going to be our center front. Thank you. So you can come with me. The first thing is going to be to take our shoulder measurement in this case we are using 15 inches for our shoulder but our standard is what 16 inches so assuming 16 inches is going to be divided by two the shoulder is 16 inches i told you that we are folding the draft is divided into two so it means we are folding it into two. that means it's what 16 divided by two that is eight inches if we are following the standard this is eight inches here but my measurement is what 15 point 15 inches that's seven and a half so i'm going to be marking seven and a half this is my seven and a half so so that's my seven and a half so the next thing we'll be doing is to mark our bust point our bust point from the shoulder is 10 i'm adding half inch which is 10.5 the reason why i'm adding half inch is because by the time we are sewing and we pick half inch from the shoulder it's still going to shift a bit off so this is my 10 inches i've marked it this is my what my bust point now i'm going to mark my waist point my waist point is what 15 and a half and i'm adding half in that is what 16 inches this is my 16 inches so this is my waist line this is my bust point line and for my hip line it's 22 inches i didn't have anything for my hip so because naturally my own hip is not even up to that 20 it's like 21 three quarter so i decided to use the 22 inches standard like that so this 22 inches this is my hip line the next thing is to mark our shoulder slant to achieve our shoulder slant to achieve our shoulder slant we'll be having normally there's a standard one of the standard i didn't put here is three inches the neck width the standard is three inches but you know neckline varies so this is the three inches here i've marked it so from this three inches to where my shoulder line was taken is where my slant will be so i'll come down here by half inch some people do one inch but i prefer to do half inch you understand why i said so later i will explain later so i've come down by half inch this is my this is my 7.5 mark and if you look at this place i'll be using my bust is 36 i'll be using my bust divided by four my bust divided by four 36 divided by four will give me nine 
So for my arm hole mark, I'm going to take nine from that shoulder line. So this is nine. So I'll be drawing my straight line from the nine, from the shoulder line down to nine. So I hope you can see it. So now the shoulder slant, I've marked the half inch here. That's my shoulder slant. Now, I'll be taking my bust measurement. What is my bust measurement? 36. I told you that we've, this is the front. We are drafting the front of the bodies. This is the front of the bodies. This, and this is the back. So the front of the bodies is what we are drafting. That means we are drafting half of the front. Because I told you we are folding it. It's supposed to be divided into this center front. So that means that this 36 inches, the bust, is divided by 4 and not two so i'm going to teach another variation of how to draft it but if 36 is divided by two that is 18 18 divided by two is what nine so i'll be marking the nine inches i will not be adding the allowances yet this is the nine inches for my waist my waist is 30 divided by 2 15 15 divided by 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 so this is my waist this is my 7.5 mark here and my hip is 36. That's also going to be 36 divided by 4. That is what? 9. 9 inches. So, I hope you can see what we are trying to do. I'm going to be using pencil because I have not added my allowances. I just want to show you. I hope you can see how it is. I told you, I explained in the video that that is the essence of our curve. This is our hip curve. So it should not be this slant. So, like I said, there are no sharp edges on the body of a female in drafting the pattern. So, use your hip curve to shape in this place and ensure that here. So that is it. We didn't have any allowance yet.